<laughs> well, you've got somebody in the chat that can help you out there if you need it, uh, Miss Fujimoto. I'm sure Pasta won't mind. I, I understand his German's not very good, but it's not that bad. Okay, I, I'm giving up on this area for now. Let's go back over here. Um, see if we can find another area to go through. Before, it was... Oh, there's a hole in the ground there. How do I get to that hole? I don't want to do this. I want to do silly voices. I want to have a bit of story. If I spend the next two hours going around in circles, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah. Andrea, let's swap you out for State Heather's in terrible state. Uh, Jennifer, you're in a good shape. Well, I'm glad that you submitted that as a typo because if that was true, Miss Fujimoto, that would be absolutely depressing to hear. you out for Nicole. Nicole, I want you basically just just blow this guy up. Thank you very much. Knew I could rely on you. Okay. Gotcha. They survived. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't say. Oh, great. Let's see missing up anyway. This is supposed to be a fun game. I don't want really hard mazes. I want silly voices. Okay, what are we going to do with you? I think we're actually going to max out your punch. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay, uh, we've got first aid. So let's... Uh, Right, Jennifer needs to uh, rest a bit before she can do any more. What's this? Ooh! The signal's very strong! The power source must be nearby! In our haste to get to the power source, we almost don't notice the monsters lurking by the side of the path. The monsters move towards us. And the tree shifts, but there is no breeze. The tree shifts again. It's not being blown. It's walking. Oh dear lord.
Um, we are, uh, I think as they say in France, completely and utterly buggered. Okay. Oh great, that was a waste. Missy's in a good shape. Um, what's your specials? Okay, I'm going to swap you out for pizza and see if we can put the big guy to sleep. Yep, we can put the big guy to sleep. That's good. Let's, uh, well, if we're at that, let's put this pod to sleep as well. Is it asleep? I can't see if it's asleep. I don't think it's asleep. Right, we'll swap Nicole back so she regenerates a bit. What state is Andrew? Andrew's in good state. Special uh, acid strip. Let's do that on one of these podders. That worked reasonably well. Chuck another delete at it. Ah, uh, let's just punch the thing. <laughs> No hit points left. Yeah. Let's see if we can get rid of them a little bit quicker. There we go, that's one down. Okay, you're out of power, are you? Let's swap you out. Um, I suppose Andrea would be a good choice. Well, Andrea would be a good choice if wasn't in the, she wasn't in the front rank. So Jennifer, Nicole and Heather. Heather. Ballista on the podder. Ballista. What? Let's try that. Oh, great. How do we do this? How do we deal with this? What are they doing now? Get down! We try to hide in the dark as the uh, lightning bolts crackle overhead. As the lightning dies down, we creep away. That's completely, utterly, totally not fair. The tree didn't even notice us, and those other two things kept healing all the time. How are we going to get the power supply away from them when we can't even scratch them? Hmm. We need to disable those energy shields. Uh, ow! We could disable the power source. They're sitting on the ha no, wrong voice. They're sitting on the power source. Oh yeah. 
but the energy streams to the podders didn't seem to be going towards the portal past us. That gives me an idea. What is it? Let me look around first. Heather gazes around with her mini binoculars. Mm. Heather takes a group of small parts from her purse and starts rubbing an unbent paperclip with her screwdriver. She breaks a hair off her head and ties it to the paperclip. It sways to and fro. Here, what are you doing? Making a compass. Oh, what's her voice? Oh, I see. <laughs> she looks up at the ceaseless storm. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? Heather nods. Probably. Could someone sneak into the monsters and try to trace the magnetic fields around them? What for? Do you ever find yourself talking in one of your character voices in regular conversation? Almost every single day. It's one of the reasons why people just tend to back away from me at work. I think she's going to try to sort out their shields. Nicole sneaks off carrying the compass. When she finally returns, she looks pleased and a little flushed. We wonder what she was doing. It's a, there's a strong electrical current running from one of the monsters to the southeast. Very strong. We could have used, we could have almost used your screwdriver as a compass. But did you short out the seals like you said? No, but if we follow the energy to its source, we should be able to disrupt it. Okay. Right. We're getting somewhere. So... Right. No, alright. Let's try going this way. There we go, that's it, we've we found it again. Alright. Ahead of us stretches a wide expanse of water, lapping gently at dark sand. It's a lake with a single island in the centre rising up like a mountain. I can just make out a hazy glow around the peak. That must be our goal. How do we get across? Swim. <laughs> I thought we could get earlier. No swimming on alien planets. Not when there are monsters you might have to fight. This isn't like the river. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. This, this isn't like the river. There's no current here. If you get knocked down, someone can rescue you. What if you get your foot caught in the rocks and weeds and we can't get you out of the water it goes over your head? Is this a joke about me being short? Well, you are. I'm also a really good swimmer, and I'm not a baby that has to be protected all the time. <laughs> Only sometimes. Look, I'll show you. I'll make a rope across. You can pull me back if there's trouble. And when I make it, you can use the rope to help cross because you don't swim so well. Should I let her try? Actually, I'm going to ask you guys. Should I let her try? What do you think? Is it too risky or should we swim across? Try, 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 let her try, yeah, we're going to let her try. Okay, swear across. All right, but keep an eye out for monsters. No problem. I swear she's getting gruffer. We take up her end of the rope as Andrea wades carefully out into the water. Soon she picks up her feet to swim. A third of the way there, she pauses. Then, with a splash, she disvanishes beneath the surface. Andrea! I tug on the rope, but it resists fiercely, threatening to drag me in. Everybody, pull! 
Working together, we managed to haul a wet and spluttering Andrea back to the lake edge. What do you do that for? We thought you were drowning. What happened? I was keeping an eye out for monsters, like you said. So I looked down and I saw these lumps of colour in the lake bed. At first I thought it was the water distortion, making it hard for me to keep track of which one was which. But then I realised that they were changing colour. So I pulled out my sample kit and took a deep breath and dove down to get a closer look. And I was almost close enough, but somebody started trying to pull me back and I got dragged all the way back here. Those locked rocks look really interesting. How am I supposed to get my sample now? Uh, look behind you. A large blob of coloured goo is rising up from beneath the water. Um, oops. I think this probably isn't a good place to go swimming. Right, blob. Rocks and dirt form a natural dam here. That's a naughty word. Held together with a myriad of tiny rootlets, the top of the dam also makes a walkway we can cross. What was her voice again? Um, if we breached the dam, the water would drain and we could cross the lake bed to the island. How we do that? Explosives. Well, if we dug out the sides, the dam might be washed out, or if the lake flooded enough, that might wash it away too. Or we could destroy the dam itself. An axe might break it up, or a saw, or the yeah, acid, so air or explosives. Andrea holds up a small package, one of her homemade grenades. I can take care of the dam. Are you sure that's a good idea? When are explosions ever a bad idea? They're fun. That's right, should we let Andrea blow up the dam? Andrea, the source of all good ideas. What do you think? What do you think? Hello, Rolly. 